Brentwood, Tennessee versus Franklin, Tennessee. If you are joining us today and thinking about buying a house in either Brentwood, Tennessee or buying a home in nearby Franklin, Tennessee, those two communities tend to go neck and neck and battle each other out for the best buyers, which is you. So today, if you're trying to figure out which city to live in, we're gonna look at the pros and the cons so you can make a best decision for yourself and your family before you move to Nashville, Tennessee. Hi, my name is Lorraine Hetherington. I'm with HetheringtonTeam.com and Parks Realty. I'm fortunate enough to lead a team of luxury agents and we specialize in helping people buy and sell homes here in Nashville, Tennessee. So if you know somebody who's thinking about moving to Nashville, we'd be honored to get on the phone and talk with them and answer any questions that they may have. And more importantly, when they decide to come to town to take a look at the real estate here and to think about really where they want to live, we'd be honored to block off our calendar and just take them and get them into some of these great neighborhoods so they can figure out the best place for them. We're all about helping you buy a house, get a fresh start and live your best life yet. Today, it's the battle between Brentwood, Tennessee and Franklin, Tennessee. Which community do you want to live in? Let's first of all start with location. Brentwood is south of the city of Nashville. It's right off of I-65, which is a main thoroughfare, our main highway running north and south. So Brentwood is south of the city of Nashville, about 15 miles. If you keep going south another 10 to 15 minutes, you will hit Franklin. So Franklin is technically to the south and west of Brentwood. Depending on what hour of the day you're are going to hit that highway, Franklin could take you 30 to 35 minutes to get to the heart of Nashville. Where Brentwood, it's a little bit closer. On most days, you can get right to the heart of downtown Nash in about 15 minutes. Let's talk about population. The city of Brentwood, Tennessee has about 45,000 people living in it. What's important to know about Brentwood is there's Brentwood Davidson County, which is the county that hosts Nashville. And then part of Brentwood is also located in Williamson County. And that's an important distinction because Williamson County has some of the top public schools in really all of Middle Tennessee. Franklin is twice as big as Brentwood. The population of Franklin is right around 87,000 people and it is all really in Williamson County. Again, this is important because if you are moving here with children and are settled on public schools, Franklin is going to have more options because it is right in the heart of Williamson County, which again has highly regarded public schools. Brentwood is smaller and closer to Nashville. Franklin, twice as big. And again, adding about another 15 minutes to your York commute. Okay, let's talk about the untangible buzz factor. And this is really just what people are talking about and my clients in the car and what they have to say about the buzz and the it factor of these two communities. Well, Franklin has a lot of buzz due to primarily its downtown area. It has a very developed historic downtown Franklin and it is absolutely darling. All year long, there are festivals and community events held in that downtown area. And you just literally can find all kinds of darling boutiques and great restaurants restaurants in the heart of downtown Franklin. It is a very developed, charming, straight up out of Pinterest or a Hallmark movie is downtown Franklin. Brentwood, on the other hand, is gorgeous, but Brentwood does not have a true, real downtown. There are a couple of shopping areas that people do go to. One in particular is called Maryland Farms, has some great restaurants and great little boutiques, but it is the downtown, you, you don't even really compare them. Franklin is lights out, has a better downtown. Brentwood has amazing stores, but they tend to be located all over the city. Let's talk about the star factor. And by that, I really truly do mean the star factor. Both Brentwood, Tennessee and Franklin, Tennessee has a large number of people in the industry, not only the country music industry, but the movie industry. So a lot of stars and their families have fled places like LA and they have settled in both Brentwood and Franklin. What's cool to know is you will see them literally every couple of weeks, you'll see a great big name celebrity on the street or in the grocery store in the movie theater, wherever. And people here tend to not make a big deal about it because we want them to feel comfortable here and people just don't go up and get their autographs. We don't want to treat them like tourists because they live here and we just kind of want to give them their space and just let them appreciate the area like all of us. So star factors, 10 plus in both communities. Next up, walking trails and bike trails. If you are a person who likes to get outdoors and do all kinds of recreational activities, both cities are great for that. But Brentwood, 
Hollywood in particular is known for its extensive bike and walking trails that literally connect multiple neighborhoods. You can literally hop on a bike in the morning or grab the dog and go for miles. Franklin, on the other side, has a lot of sidewalks, but Franklin is larger and more spread out. You'll find again that great historic downtown, but then you'll see neighborhoods that are grouped together. But just by the sheer nature of the size of Franklin, the footprint is so large. There's a lot of neighborhoods that are not connected with bike trails, but you can go by car easily. Up next, let's dial in and talk about housing. Because again, we, our team is in real estate in this area, and that's probably why you're on this video right now, is to get the inside scoop on housing. Both communities have condos starting in the mid 400s. It's hard to find a house, almost impossible to find a house in these cities in the 400s, because both towns really go way up into the luxury market. It is considered some of the best prime real estate in all of Nashville. I would say there is more new construction in Franklin, Tennessee, because that town is just growing and expanding south and west and south and east. So there's more new construction for you to choose from. Today in Franklin, here's what the market looks like. There are 330 homes for sale. The average price point in Franklin, $2,342,000. Average price per square foot, about five hundred and six. dollars So that's it for Franklin. Brentwood is more landlocked and already built out. So we are seeing more older homes come up with original owners. Some of them have been renovated. Some of them are in nice condition but really need that whole cosmetic overhaul. Today, there are fewer homes for sale and they are more expensive in Brentwood. Brentwood currently has 234 homes for sale. The average home for sale in Brentwood is $2,535,000. That equates to price per square foot of $463. I would say right now, if you're watching this from home and trying to decide which community, really location, isn't it always that way with real estate, but location is probably going to be the tiebreaker here. If you need to go into Nashville for work a lot, or you have a job that requires you to commute, so you're at the airport a lot, Brentwood is definitely going to be about 15 minutes closer, and it's going to shave off a lot of time with your daily commute. Franklin, on the other hand, if you don't have to commute as much for your work, maybe you're lucky enough to have a job where you can work out of home at least part-time and don't need to get to the heart of Nashville a lot, Franklin is going to have some amazing neighborhoods. And again, there's just more homes for sale because it's a big footprint. So Franklin's going to open up more opportunities. It is just farther south. So you have to be very conscious of your commute. Where are you going to work? I know this has been a lot to unpack, but the best thing you can really do is yes, you want to scroll on Zillow, but it's more important to find a local expert here in the Nashville area. And if it's not me, I mean, we'd love to have the business, but if it's not me, find another agent that you like and trust and feel like they can really be your guide because that's really the next step. Book a trip to town and have your agent take you into these gorgeous neighborhoods to find really the fit for you. I've always told buyers that you're definitely gonna know when you found it. And I feel the same is true. You, you'll know it when you haven't found it. So you're just gonna get a feel and a pulse of the different communities and then dial in on the house. If you are thinking about moving to town or perhaps you know someone who's thinking about Nashville, we'd be honored to answer any questions that you have or help you out in any way that we can. Simply text or give us a call and we'll get the ball rolling. We're all about helping you buy a house, get a fresh start and live your best life yet. We'll see you next week.